The Raspberry Pi is a great platform to experiment with cluster computing or networking. But as soon as you have more than two or three boards, things start being a mess. Yeah. So today I will show you some affordable solutions to arrange your boards in a nice looking and much more professional way. You probably can't miss the four mounting holes drilled into your Raspberry Pi. They help to align the board inside an enclosure or to fix it to some surface. By using standoffs, you can easily leverage those mounting holes to stack several Raspberry Pis. As for myself, I use plain brass standoffs mostly because this is what I have at end. But depending the look you want to achieve and your budget, you may use nickel plated ones or completely different materials like white or black nylon or the more expensive aluminum or stainless steel versions. Whatever is your choice, you don't have to worry about the separator being insulated or not since the mounting holes clearance on the Raspberry Pi will avoid all electrical contacts between the standoffs and the board circuits. Here I use four screws to finish the assembly on the top, but with a slightly different arrangement. You could use nuts instead. The core difference is you will need this time male-female instead of female-female standoffs on the very bottom layer. If you're unsure of what you will prefer, that's not a problem. You can find on the internet very low-cost sets containing all the various standoffs, nuts and screws I used here, nicely packed in a single box. I've put some links in the video description, but you can find them almost everywhere. The result is already pretty good. But if you want a polished look, you may consider investing in some kit available on eBay or elsewhere. The kits exist in different versions depending on the number of Raspberry Pis or devices you want to use. As of myself, I bought two three-level kits that were less expensive than just one five-level kit. The kits contain the necessary mounting parts as well as some nice-looking clear acrylic plates. When you receive the kit, the acrylic glass is covered by a protective film you will have to remove. It is a relatively boring task and you may be tempted to use some tools to speed up the job, but the acrylic glass is relatively fragile and easily scratched. So don't use anything other than your nails to peel off the protection sheet. Okay. It took some time, but I have now prepared everything and sorted the different parts of the kit to ensure nothing was missing. Since everything is in order, let's start. I will first attach each Raspberry Pi on its support. And once done, I will just have to stack the different layers using the provided send-off. I realize now I've forgotten the top layer with that nicely cut Raspberry Pi logo, so let's fix that and secure it using the four provided acorn nuts. Since acrylic can crack under excessive pressure, don't apply too much force when tightening them. As you've seen, the assembly was not very difficult and the result is pretty convincing. 
But one issue remains open. What to do with that Raspberry Pi cluster? Well, we will see that in another video. In the meantime, you could use the comment section to post your own suggestions.